10 Haunted Places in Pennsylvania Spring City, Pennsylvania Penhurst State Hospital At the Penhurst State Hospital, numerous shadows have manifest and dissipate at will. These shadows include what appeared to be a small female child with long black hair, a hunched-over presence with long dangling arms, and the upper portion of bodies looking over or around obstacles. Doors and a rocking chair have moved without anyone being near them. An investigator was shoved from behind hard enough on a stairway to leave a deep red mark on the back. An investigator was scratched on the arm by an unknown object when they were not by anything or close to any walls. It offers overnight ghost tours and investigations for those looking to experience paranormal activity in person. Newcastle, Pennsylvania Hillview Manor There are two notable hauntings at Hillview Manor. One is that of Eli Sori. Due to the strict no-alcohol policy, he decided to get his fix by leaving the building in order to go drinking. Eli was found by some of the other residents the next morning laying outside of the front doors passed out drunk, who then decided to carry him in and leave him in the boiler room to warm and sober up. Unfortunately, Eli never sobered up, he passed away in his slumber. Now his restless spirit is said to haunt the boiler room area. The ghost of Eli supposedly enjoys taunting women There are several reports of women saying they were touched, grabbed and pinched by who they believe is Eli. Mary Virginia, a cerebral palsy patient and a resident of the home. She spent most of her time playing dress up and listening to music. Mary's ghost is friendly and responds well to her trigger objects showing her presence by swinging the necklaces that hang above her bed, moving her dolls, and faintly playing her favorite music tunes into investigators recording devices. Altoona, Pennsylvania Mishler Theater The theater was owned by Isaac Mishler, who was beloved among the residents of Altoona. Mishler was known for smoking cigars on a regular basis. This may explain the random episodes of the smell of cigar smoke. It just might be the spirit of Mishler himself enjoying a cigar while taking in another performance at his theater. Some have said that they saw the spirit of Mishler walking into a wall. It was said that the door to his office was once there and had since been sealed off. The faint smell of cigar smoke, the apparition of a familiar man wearing funny hats, restroom sinks mysteriously turning on and off with nobody in sight, and a figure dressed in early 1900s clothing. These are just a few personal accounts some have recalled when they have visited the Mishler Theater. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania Betsy Ross House Sitting several blocks away from Independence Hall and the Liberty Bell, this was the home of Betsy Ross, the woman who designed and sewed the first American flag. The front part of the home was built around 1740 and Ross is said to have resided there with her third husband. Visitors to the historic home have reported accounts of seeing her ghost crying at the foot of the bed in the basement and hearing ghostly voices. Gettysburg, Pennsylvania Devil's Den Devil's Den on the Gettysburg battlefield is incredibly haunted, with one particular Texan soldier ghost being seen as recently as 2010. During the second day of the Battle of Gettysburg in the Civil War, soldiers took part in intense fighting among the boulders, hills, and valleys. One of the most notable ghosts of this area is a barefoot soldier with torn clothing, a floppy hat, and long hair claiming. What you're looking for is over there, as he points toward nearby Plum Run, also a scene of battle. Others report zapped electronics batteries and ghostly soldiers staged in battle. Lancaster, Pennsylvania Fulton Theater Several actors and stagehands reported seeing a woman in a white dress hovering around the bottom of an old, wooden spiral staircase or at the top of the stage right. A stagehand from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, saw her and asked what her name was. She said Marie. A carpenter working in a stairwell that had been closed off for many years suddenly ran screaming from the theater and onto Prince Street. When asked what was wrong, he said that a man in a light-colored suit, wearing brown shoes and a straw hat walked up to him and asked for a cigarette, 
Then he just disappeared right before his eyes. Other theater employees have since reported sightings of the specter, and some actors claim that strange whistling and clapping coming from backstage caused them to miss a line. A Miller Seville University professor was running the spotlights for a show when she noticed an older gentleman sitting in the benches. At intermission, she asked if the gentleman was given permission to sit up there. The gentleman only pointed out the young actress in the first act and cited her as his granddaughter that he had come to see. After the show ended, the older gentleman was gone. The spot operator went backstage and ran into the actress. The operator said she had seen her grandfather and hoped he enjoyed the show. The girl responded, Both my grandfathers are dead. The actress also said neither of her grandfathers had never seen her perform. The spot operator replied, Maybe one has now. And left it at that. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. USS Olympia. This American warship was used in the Spanish-American War and the First World War. After being put to good use, in 1922 she was placed in reserve, docked in Philadelphia where she remains today, ghostly crew members and all. Many soldiers lived and died on this water vessel, making it yet another hot spot for paranormal activity. There are claims of a ghost who likes to touch people in the boiler room, and others who still believe the ship is in battle and have been recorded saying things like save the ship. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Fort Mifflin. The fort played a part in major military battles dating back to the Revolutionary War. The ghosts of many soldiers, one of which supposedly gives tours, are said to haunt this fort. The ghost of a lamplighter, a Civil War prisoner, the voice of a screaming woman, the wailing woman said to be mourning the loss of soldiers in the revolution, and the sounds of the blacksmith shop can be seen and heard. The ghosts of colonial soldiers are believed to linger here, and there have been a number of sightings. Along with the sightings, witnesses have claimed to smell the scent of a wood fire and the aroma of bread baking, the disembodied voices of soldiers, sailors, and civilians, and some have even reported being touched by something unseen. Hershey. Pennsylvania. The Hotel Hershey. This hotel dates back to the 1930s and is believed to be haunted by the chocolate mogul Mr. Hershey himself. His apparition has been seen and doors are known to open and close on their own. Footsteps have also been heard in the wine cellar, along with other unexplained sounds all throughout the building. Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. The Gettysburg Hotel. Gettysburg is arguably the most haunted city in all of Pennsylvania. The Gettysburg Hotel, which served as a hospital during the Civil War, is said to still house some of those who witnessed the war firsthand. An injured soldier, for example, has been seen strolling in the hallways while Rachel, a nurse, often visits guest rooms, rummaging through guest drawers and belongings in search of supplies to help her patients.